Where am I? Over at... Whoa, Lothric Castle. Yeah. I actually recognize this primarily because I just edited the co this part of the co-op series, like, yesterday. So she's the one that let me leave the castle in the first place. She gave me the symbol that I put up so I could leave. Why am I here? Prince Lothric is in your hands. Please save his soul. Tell him what he must be a lord. The Basin of Vows. We've got a few things to follow up on then, because I've gotten a few items now. Man, can I even follow up on all the different items I've gotten? Let's see. Cinders of a Lord. Uh, Cinders of a Lord left by the giant Yorm. If the lords will not return to the thrones themselves, let them return as cinders. Lonely Yorm became a lord of cinder to put the profaned flame to rest, knowing full well that those who spoke of him as lord were quite insincere. Ooh. Spite going on there. Where'd the basin? There's the basin. Chalice used in old ceremony in which Lothric knights take their vows. It's only a formality now, but it remains... An empty practice. Place this basin at a statue of a beheaded knight. What's the deal there? And there's also this, there should be a soul of Yorm the Giant, right? Soul of Yorm the Giant. Yorm is the descendant of a ancient conqueror, but was asked by the very people who once subjugated, uh, the very people once subjugated to lead them, serving as both a weighty blade and a stone hard shield. Okay. And they just kind of threw me in the middle of this place. Is that the knight? Oh, that's a that's a beheaded knight over there. Those are both beheaded knights. Yeah. Wait. Was there a prompt? Wait, wait. She's huge. I feel threatened a little bit here. Oh, where, where are you going? Where are you going? Booty, 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 booty. <laughs> oh, out of stamina. Mistakes were made. All right. She's crazy looking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the booty shot. Ow. Unsuccessful roll. It varies at times, you know. Hey, Dancer. Oh, the Dancer of Boreal Valley. Uh oh, that's not good. If she's the Dancer, then that's the, that's the character that's mentioned in the soul of Vort. Of the Boreal Valley. That wasn't very nice. I didn't like the part where you grabbed me. Ow, that was an early roll, apparently. My bad. All right, her move set's getting weird. What is that? <laughs> Pyromancy bed. Huh. No, she's grabbing me again. All right, that's rude. There's a lot of weird details to this fight that I need to figure out how to recognize. Because I'm having some troubles, obviously. Woohoo! Nice to meet you. See you too. Man, she moves strangely. Oh, what are you doing? What you doing, lady? What you doing? Oh no! Hut, hut, hut! Spin to win mode. Quickly heal. Hut, hut, hut! Nope, nope. You doing that again? Ooh, look at the range on her. Did not expect her to be able to stab that far. Alright. 
Huh? Uh oh. That bodes poorly for me. That bodes very poorly for me. Huh? Oh. Ah. Trying to get the timings of some of the stuff down. It's not going great so far. Huh? Huh? All right. No. All right. Nope. Nope. Oh. Not quite. What the? F Her move set is huge. It seems. There's a lot of skills to figure out here. Uh oh, that was a mistake. That was a gaping mistake. All right. All right. I made a poopy. Shit. All right, down to one flask. Chances are looking pretty nil right now. Because she's only getting weirder. All right. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Roll. Nope. All right, I had one flask left. Huh. She doesn't seem too bad. I have a lot of souls on the floor, though, which I'm not happy about. Whoa, you put me way back here. Excuse me? I mean, I, I guess I didn't rest at a bonfire nearby, but... It's weird to, it's weird to get put here. In the door we go. Don't stab me with knights. Hey, dancer, dancer, dancer. Don't, just let me grab my souls real quick. There we go. So polite. Huh. Yep. Gotcha. Very telegraphed moves. It's just have to be very... Oh, no. Huh. That's bad for me. Quickly. Ah, there we go. Son of a bitch. The moves are telegraphed. It's just they're so... wavy. And they, they almost have false starts to some of them. Don't backstep. Oh, that's bad. All right, bad start, kind of. Hello. Nope. That's not something I want to be. Oh, that's the second sword. All right. Look at her spin. Woohoo! I found this. I found the her. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I found her blind spot. <laughs> Her left thigh, apparently. Her right thigh? Yeah, her right thigh. My my left side. Apparently is a weird empty point spot for that attack. Oh. What you doing? Oh. oh, spin to win mode activated. Let's get out of there really quickly before I die. What you doing, lady? You look like you're having fun. Stop. Stop having fun. <laughs> It's a long combo, but if you're away from it, you're pretty safe, obviously. Huh. Oh. Here it comes again. No, never mind. Ow. I'm missing that booty a lot lately. Lately. I keep slashing at her and hitting nothing. Which is my bad, I guess. Is it happening again? Yup, 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 yup. Oh, pews! Oh, it's a bad place to have pews! Dang it! I wanted to, that was going to be my chance to counterattack, but I ran into d debris that caused me problems. Oops, no lock on. Hello. I can hit you from here. <laughs> oh. She's getting all wavy. Nope. Nope. None of that, please. Hoo-hoo. Woo. Look at that combo go. You're gonna die now, probably, just so you know. Ow. Okay, okay, that's bad for me. You're dead, though. Bye. Whew. Alright, that's a fast-paced fight. <laughs> well, actually, not a fast-paced fight. It's like a cautious... Watch these weird wavy attack happen... Thing, fight. Shit. Well, there's a Dancer of Boreal Valley taken down. That's the only boss I ever heard about before I started playing this game. I didn't know what it was. I just knew that people mentioned a dancer boss fight, like, six months before the game came out. I'm like, dancer? That's an interesting name. All right, well, I've got 100,000 souls. But before I do anything with that, uh, is there anything left to do in here? I mean, I've, I've explored this room before, so probably not. Let's go ahead and warp back to, to, to Ziegvard. 
because I miss him so much. Oh, cool. The the, the bonfire came pre-lit. So I don't have to go activate it. Hello. Oh, that's not him. That's an item. Why is he gone? Where'd he go now? Storm Ruler and Pierce Shield. Oh. Oh no. He said his duty was complete, and he said one final toast. And now all of the equipment all of his equipment's on the ground. I think he's dead. I didn't even get this I didn't even get to be here for when he died. They fucking teleported me out to go save the world or some nonsense. Not to hang out and drink with my friend. Everything sucks. This world sucks. Wait, do I have two storm rulers now? What the hell? I have two storm rulers. I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> I think that I was either supposed to get one here or from him, right? Only a storm can fell a great wood. So was I supposed to grab... I, was I supposed to run over here, grab the sword, equip it, and then go fight him with it? Presumably. It seems like it might be the case. If nothing else, hey, I've got the Katarina set now, which is... I mean, the legacy lives on, right? I should check to see if I can wear it, uh, wear it or not. I'm checking the area for items real quick. Alright, th those two boss fights went down pretty quickly. Two boss fights, one death. But granted, one of them was made significantly easier by having somebody else basically do it for me. But I don't even feel bad, because that, that was part of story, and that's always kind of cool. Katarina armor is super heavy, fuck. <laughs> I was like, let's, let's wear the Katarina armor. That'll be kind of funny, right? It's freaking heavy. It's so heavy. Look at my onion head. Look at my amazing onion head. <laughs> you just feel the impact. <laughs> Poor guy. There's the Alva Helm. Oh, well. Did I already check the Katarina set before? Often ridiculed for its onion-like shape, infuriating the country's proud knights. But the masterfully forged, curved design makes it effective for deflecting blows and whatnot. We also, we got, a, we got a shield for the first time, which I didn't buy last time because it seemed really expensive. An unusual style of round shield peculiar to the Knights of Katarina. The center of the shield features a large, sharpened spike, which is used to skewer opponents. It has a shield bash. Storm Ruler. Great sword, of, uh, great sword with a broken blade, also known as the Giant Slayer for the residual strength of storm that brings giants to their knees. Yorm the Giant once held two of these, but gave one of the humans, uh, gave one to the humans who doubted him, and left the other to dear a dear friend before facing his fate as a Lord of Cinder. Its skill is Storm King. Asuma stands to imbue the sword with storm, most effective when facing giants. Is there another giant in this game? Might as well equip it. I can use it. Uh, D scaling with both stats. Oh yeah, I can use it. Has the general feel you'd expect from something like a the Zweihander or the Claymore, I think. Let's see, it's two-handed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this brings me back to my Claymore days a bit. The Claymore was the game I the weapon I got through a lot of Dark Souls with the first time I ever played it cuz it just it fi it fit with how I wanted things to move more or less. Look at that. Oh, look at that! That's fun. So that's what my friend was doing. And it obliterates your entire stamina meter, but not that much skill. Can I also... So that was right trigger when I launched it. Can I also launch it with R1? Okay, it's always the vertical strike. Whether you hit L1 or R1. Did it have any special description? Nope. I'm sure it's very in a... I'm sure it's pretty inefficient and cumbersome to try to use during actual combat, but it still looks freaking cool. If I remember correctly, the, the, the trade-off with the one that was in Demon's Souls, I believe, was that the, uh... I believe that specific version of the sword would, uh... Oh yeah! It had, it had durability problems, where I think it didn't it didn't cost any durability to use its skill during the boss fight, but once you left the boss chamber, you, get, you have to keep the sword, but I think it destroyed its durability very quickly by attacking with its special effect, which kind of made it hard to use at all. Let's see. Soul of the Dancer. 
The Pontiff Sullivan bestowed a double slashing sword upon a distant daughter of the formal royal family, ordering her to serve first as a dancer, then as an outrider knight. The equivalent exile. Well, that's not nice. Maybe you should treat your people a little better, huh? Just a little better? I'm mature. Let's go ahead and check out the items we unlocked by beating those bosses. Here we go. I might cut those into two short videos and just release them as an extra video. Just because I like to have one video per boss fight, it feels weird to stack them up sometimes. Aha, thou returned. And a fine day it is. So. Oh, that's no, no, no dialogue. You know what? I should put Yorm the Giant's ashes in, lo in their spot first. This is... That was the long way around. Congratulations, me. I'm sure this is Yorm's thing, because it's huge. Yep. Yorm the Giant of the Profane Capital. I think I keep calling it Profane Citadel. I can't even reach up there. Oh, that's a big skull. Oh, yeah. It roughly fits what he looked like under that helm, with his glowy eyes and everything. He was surprisingly human-looking. I'm just used to the idea of giants not- Oh! Not being superhuman looking. So that's three down, one to go, I believe. Oh yeah, all of the ones are in their places except for the big, important one on top. Because one of them was here the whole time, and the other three have been placed. The Abyss Watchers took a while to get to, and then it took a while to get to the other one, but that was a pretty quick transition to getting another one after that. Alright, let's see what kind of items we've unlocked access to by... Getting two bosses down. Any new dialogue, by the way? Ah, most ill fine kin nope. Nope. Nope, that's all looping. That's all the old stuff. Alright, Crystal Sage. Soul of a Dancer gives you soothing sunlight. Restore hit points for self and broad area. So uh, over a huge area, but costs, for, uh, uh, costs 80 FP, which is quite a bit. Uh, that's my entire meter right now, basically. Although I'm not a caster at all right now. And 45 faith requirement. Special miracle granted to the maidens of the Princess of Sunlight. Restores a large amount of hit points for self and those in the general area. The miracles of Guinevere, the princess cherished by all, bestowed their blessing on a great many warriors. Oh, uh, we got the Dancer's Enchanted Swords. So this is a... They're a high dex weapon, but they require every kind of stat to be up at 10... Up between 9 and 20. Uh, scales with everything, apparently. Mixes physical magic and fire damage all at once, which makes sense, because they're clearly two different types of swords. I, uh... That probably means they suck? Like, a lot? Because, <laughs> uh, in the past, whenever anything has mixed element and damage, usually it means you're double-dipping on having to deal with your opponent's resistances, and that usually means that you're kind of screwed as far as not getting- as, as far as actually doing good damage at the end goes. Paired enchanted swords that Pontiff Sullivan bestowed upon the Dancer of Boreal Valley. These blades, symbolic of the Dancer's vows, are enchanted by dark magic in the right hand and fire in the left, mirroring the Pontiff. Skill, Dancer's Grace. Unleash the fury of both blades in a dancing spin motion and use strong attack to continue the performance until stamina is exhausted. Here we go, this is Yorm's giant machete that we saw. Yorm's great machete, his big two-handed thing where you just sort of would cleave down at you. Really high base damage, which matches with the fact that it's, it's a uh, 38 strength requirement item in the first place. Decent scaling at starting at C is not a bad place to start. Great Machete wielded but long ago by Yorm the Giant. Yorm once lumbered on the front lines with a great shield, but one day, in place of his shield, a left-handed notch was added to on his machete, enabling the smashing technique that would become the legacy of his later years. Skill, Warcry. Temporary boost to attack. And finally, his Great Shield. 40 Strength requirements. Seems like decent stability. Very high... It has perfect physical uh, resistance, but very high everything else. Great Shield used long ago by Yorm the Giant. Increases the user's poise. As a lord, Yorm risked everything and fought unflinchingly as a one-man vanguard. Following the loss of one of one he wished to protect, he forsook his shield. Shield bash. We have enough souls now to put three points into endurance, give, and those three points will award me with seven stamina and eh, tiny amounts of resistance to various 
effects and uh, elements and physical attacks and so on. But mostly, a nice bit of seven more stamina. Taking us to level 74. Oh, nice. The vendor now sells the dancer set. Dancer's crown and so on. Crown worn by the dancer of uh, Boreal Valley. The mirage-like aura, Aurora, yeah, Aurora Veil, vale, is said to be an article of the old gods, permitted only for direct descendants of the old royal family. The black eyes of Pontiff eventually transformed the dancer into a beastly creature, her armor fusing with her own hide. Gross. And now I'm pretty. <laughs> the freaking cloak is amazing. There's a, they made a translucent cloak that flows around. It looks ridiculous when you flip because it flips up in the air like like all capes in this game do. <laughs> it's freaking, it's mesmerizing. It just watching the cloak chase you around like you're like you're playing Shinobi or something. <laughs> 